Welcome, dear viewers. Are you hungry for a good story? Welcome to the House of Gantarash, where all hunger are satisfied. Here we are, the famous House of Gantarash. It's a bit creepy. Man, it's just a house. Corruption, it's just a house of magic. Well, magic pies is at least if the reviews are anything to go by. Gantarash pies, class A. I don't like the look of it at all. You don't like the look of anything unless it sells shoes. I take no criticism from the man who is visibly allergic to fashion. Will you just stop arguing? I think it's a pretty building. The House of Gantaresh, built in 1850, home to the cult of the mystic Gantaresh Adhikari. Tried to pass himself off as Indian, but he was from Bradford, if I remember correctly. What did they do with this cult thingy? It's just they stuff people who spent too much on shoes into bags and threw them off cliffs. Really? God, Lily, don't be so silly. It doesn't actually, it doesn't actually say in this what they got up to and why, but there was some kind of scandal and they disappeared. I suppose they just kept the name for tourists. That's why I brought you here. Apparently, the mystic claimed that he had powers to disappear people. Well, maybe if we go in, we'll find some of them. Yeah, can we go in now? It's a bit cold. Hello, Joe. Welcome. How did you know his name? It must be magic. And this is the hall where the great Gantarash and his followers had their meetings. And he disappeared, right? You shouldn't believe everything you hear. What's that? That is the sacrificial, I mean dinner table, that his followers ate on. You said sacrificial? A slip of the tongue. What have you done with him? He must be here somewhere. The exit's And how can he get way. lost in a building this size? <laughs> Listen, that Adhikari bloke's up to his old tricks again. Well, he died in 1909, so... Her boyfriend has probably just gone to the toilet or something. It is done, mistress. Thank you, mistress Preeti. They just called each other mistress. Preeti? That's an odd name for an English girl who looks like Jess Glynn. She's probably just married to an Indian guy or something. Yeah, they're both acolytes of the Antikari and they've just sacrificed the boyfriend. Us next, then. You're all very silly. And this room is known as the kitchen. Not too many dishes or pans for a kitchen. No, but there is plenty of food. I can't see any food. Sorry if I startled you. My name is Milo Foreman, and I'm the director of the Adhikari Trust. We run this place. Oh, what you saying? Beautiful building. Do you have a gift shop? She wants to buy some Gantara shoes. Uh, yeah, lovely place, but no shoes involved. Joe, don't forget to check out our cafe. It's the best food in London. I will leave you here. Feel free to look around. Don't forget to check out our food. I still don't see any food. Uh, nice to see you too. So, you say boyfriend's gone missing? Yes, I think something happened to him in the house of Gan Teresh. Where was this? Just now, we just left. They wouldn't let us look for him. Just now? You have to leave at least 24 hours before you can report someone missing. He's probably gone to the pub or bought some coffee. God, why won't anybody listen to me? His phone is off. He wouldn't just leave us. No way. All right, I was just going over there later to get a bite at the canteen. Maybe I'll ask him then. So this is where the magic happened? Uh, yeah, probably just a load of ladies trying to talk to their dead husbands. A seance, you mean? Well, whatever it was, it wasn't real magic. Ethan. Ethan. 
Do you see that? Does anyone see the man in the chair? You're such an idiot. It'll take more than that to scare me. Ooh, look at this. Now that's what I call real magic, a decent pie. That's odd. Pretty true, though. Hey, isn't that the woman who shot us around? That was the bloke I saw sitting in that chair. This is silly. Let's just get there and go. There's nothing odd about this place at all. Hi, Jean. You haven't seen Charlie, have you? And he hasn't come back to the flat yet? Okay, if you hear anything, call me. For this. I'm so hungry. Chicken and mushroom pies all round. And triple cooked chips. Mm. What are you having, Millie? Triple cooked chips. I don't fancy a pie, veggie or not. You, my fuss eating friend, are missing out. Oh, locally sourced food, it says here. It's Hackney, though. There aren't exactly farms everywhere. Locally sourced Tesco's more like. <laughs> The usual. Is it fresh? You insult us. This one was running around the field this very morning. No, no, ugh. Yes, I'm sure. I'm a vegetarian. Jamie? Milo. Don't usually see you here on Tuesdays. There's been a complaint. Missing person. Tense one is here. Oh, we're very busy. I trust we got rid of the evidence. Oh yes, the evidence will be gone very, very soon indeed. May I? Come and see us at the house of Gantarash. Without our fillings, we'd have no pies. Without our pies, we'd have no customers. And that's why we need to process as many visitors per year as possible. Come and try our pies on for size at the house of Gantarash.